Hello fellow collectors, and welcome to Galagun Toys. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video, and today we are doing a full collection tour of everything behind me. I've been really busy the last week or so, just making a few little alterations, adding some new stuff. Yesterday I spent probably a good three hours rearranging, and I am super, super happy with how it's looking, and I did promise you guys uh, in the last resort video, that once everything was finished and 100% the way I liked it, I would do a full in-depth collection video. So let's jump into it, guys. Okay, so here is uh, just a quick, quick look from uh, where I'm standing, just so you can get a scope of sort of everything, and then we're going to go in and have a nice close look. Okay, so we will start with the uh, Bon Presto wall. Up the top here, we've just got a heap of Sofubi stuff, some Ichiban Kuji stuff, just some really cool figures up on this shelf. Some of my absolute favourites. And then we've got all WFCs up here, quite a few of them, all just kind of tucked up there. It's a perfect size shelf for all of them. On to all the Bon Presto statues. So, as you can see, guys, we've got a lot up there. Some really, really great stuff. Some of my favourites on these top shelves. Yeah, this is like uh, kind of like a Dragon Ball shelf going on here, if you can notice the theme. I love that Bardock, one of my favourites. Also that Trunks, that Trunks is so, so dope. One of my absolute favourites. There is so much good stuff on this, uh, on these Bum Presto shelves. Every time I have a good look, I'm like, oh, I forgot how much I love that one, or I forgot how cool that one looks. Yeah, just some really, really great stuff. I have added a few things, just kind of thrown them in from on top of the detail, for like uh, this guy here. Uh, but that was mainly because I didn't have room on top of the detail for it any longer. And I think it fits alright in there. Fun little bit of trivia, guys. All these guys here were all the Bon Presto statues I owned at one point, and that's all I was going to get. And then my friend Jacob went to Japan, came back, gave me the Captain Ginyu here, and he got me the Super Saiyan 2 Goku and the Super Saiyan 3 Goku in the back there. And that is where this whole Bon Presto wall started. Uh, from him giving me three figures and realizing, well, I've got all these, uh, I've got, you know, all these guys, and they displayed quite nicely. Uh, and then with all the ones he, with the three he gave me, it just kind of snowballed from there. So, we can thank Jacob very much for that. Now, to the top of the details where the most extensive changes have occurred. I've got this uh, Ichiban Kuji King Cluster Broly box out just to sort of build the display up a little bit so I could get uh, that box up there. And we've got some stuff sort of pinned to the wall. Shoto Neo Battle of Gods figures, Super Battle Collection. Goten and Trunks from GT, I love that pack. I have had that pretty much since release. I remember ordering it off eBay probably when I was about 15 or 16 from memory. Um, I dug out my Capsule Corp ship there with Krillin. Super happy about that. Uh, the other older sort of Irwin packets you guys would have seen. I've just tidied it up a little bit just to just make it look a little bit more, just flow a bit nicer. We've got the Sofubis down there, Tacky Purunga. The Gigantic series, the Irwin Time Machine. We've got the Xenoverse 2 box there, and then one of the Freezer Force ships there. 
And then in the front, uh, this is where I've kind of just gone and added in a heap of like Erwin and Jack's figures. And I'm really, really happy. Uh, I did thin my collection out quite a bit, but I did keep some of the best. Like Captain Ginyu the Frog, you need Captain Ginyu the Frog. Uh, like Flea Flea, Bubbity, Evil Boo, Yakon, like these are some really, really awesome figures. I uh, really dig them. So, yeah, I thought they would look good, kind of mixed in with everything here. And uh, I'll be honest, I'm really, really happy with how they look, just kind of chilling in here. Then we've got a, for those of you that live in Australia, that is a Red Rooster Cooler Happy Meal toy, or whatever Red Rooster call their meals. So, now that we've looked at the top of the details, we've looked at the Von Presto wall, let's move on to the details, and then we can have a look at the last little shells we've got, and uh, wrap this video up, guys. Alright, so we're going to open the details up so we can get a really good look in here. So we've got some DODs in the back there, we've got a little Ichiban Kuji Kid Vegeta, and then probably the pride of my collection, my Tokyo Toy Festival, King Cold, and Mecha Freezer. Limited to 300 in the world, and I believe 800 if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember the brand this Goku is, but I absolutely love this kid Goku. Uh, one of my ex-girlfriends bought this for me for my birthday about five years ago, and I absolutely love it. And we've got a Ra uh, Gohan hiding in the back there. And I have changed a few things up here, like I've thrown in this uh, Little Jack's cell, or Irwin cell, I can't remember what brand that is. And then we've got like an old Irwin Gohan. This is one of my all-time favourite uh, classic Irwin figures. I just absolutely dig that. Uh, and I thought he deserved a place in the D12. He doesn't take up much space there. I think he looks quite good. And then we've got the GT shelf. So I dug out my Nova Shenron that's like mint condition. Pretty much been pulled straight out of the box, put on a shelf. Uh, I've never really played around with the limbs or anything, so he's still nice and stiff and new. Uh, really hard to come by figure, but really, really awesome. I got a little Giru here with his little dragon radar in the back. We got Dr. Mew. We got Baby Vegeta, or Super Baby Vegeta. And then in the back there, we've also got a little uh, base Vegeta there from GT. And in here, I've just added uh, these Irwin If Labs uh, Dragon Ball figures. So I've got the shoe and peel off up the very top. Uh, but I think these these guys I've always had loose, and I think they look uh, pretty good. Just chilling there. Alright, this, I am so happy with this. I've actually got to change this. I've got some more, uh, some more of these bits of plastic. I've got quite a few more of these. So what I'm thinking about is pulling everything out of here and then redoing it. And maybe being able to boost it to sort of like the top of the detail level. And spreading it out a bit so it's a little bit more visible, but as you can see, there is so much amazing stuff in this shelf, guys. So much cool stuff. I love these capsule figures so much. There's so many more I want, so many more I need, but I have so many of them at the moment. I feel like I have a pretty decent collection of them. I don't really need to go splurging on any more. Next trip to Japan, I will definitely go pretty hard and buy any I don't have. Alright, and then one of my favourite shelves that hasn't really changed that much, or at all. Uh, just my Dragon Ball Super Broly shelf, with a few little extras thrown in for good measure. And then we've just got like a random Bun Presto shelf, Ichiban Kuji shelf, there's some Dragon Stars in there, there's a bit of everything in this shelf. But I really like the overall flow of it. And then we've just got some Grand Easters and some other stuff down the bottom there. I literally just rearranged this shelf just before uh, turning the camera on, guys. Because I thought Bardock deserved to be right in front, not sort of back where Vegeta was. Uh, so yeah, some of my favourite pieces on this shelf. I love that freezer so much. Yeah, really happy. We've got the Margin Vegeta and Goku in the back there. I think that's a good spot for them. 
And then we've got like a little bit of Ichiban Kuji action going on. Uh, Bumpresto, Dragon Stars, Shoto Neos. Uh, it's all kind of happening in this shelf. Okay, uh, okay, so I've decided to grab my Sofubi freezer and sell, and I've worked them in here because I think they look pretty good with uh, some of these larger figures. And then we've just got the Master Star Piece shelf with uh, like an Ichiban Kuji Ultra Instinct Goku and a few others sort of thrown in there, and yeah. Okay, that's it for the first three Detolfs, guys the top of the Detolfs and the wall. Now we'll just quickly do the SH figure huts, and we've got a couple more shelves to look at after that, and we're done. Okay guys, battery died, we got a fresh battery in, so let's just quickly do these SH figure arts. So, this is the first Dragon Ball Super Shelf, this is early Dragon Ball Z, and uh, Dragon Ball. Uh, and then we've got the Cell Android Saga era, sort of going on here. My tacky uh, Shenron prototype, along with uh, the rice jar, and uh, a scouter, some sensu beans, Dragon Ball, Dragon Raider, uh, I don't even know what that is, I think it's just like a little container that had some lollies in it from uh, J-World, uh, when that was still open in Tokyo. Uh, then we've got Dragon Ball Super Shelf number 2, some really cool stuff up in here. And then we've got the Majin Buu era shelf going on here. This is kind of a bit of a random shelf, but we've got a little bit of Dragon Ball in the front here, and some uh, Xenoverse uh, stuff kind of happening in the back. And then this shelf is a work in progress, guys. Uh, just kind of filling, just throwing a few figures in here to just kind of fill some space up. Uh, for when we've got some more SH figure arts coming. And then this shelf is a work in progress, guys. Uh, just kind of filling, just throwing a few figures in here to just kind of fill some space up uh, for when we've got some more SH figure arts coming. And of course, how can we forget the big plush freezer in the corner there? Okay, so that is all of that guys i really really hope you enjoyed that now let's have a look at the last little section and wrap it up okay so i came in here yesterday and did some resorting so we got some dragon ball super manga up there we've got uh this actually came with the japanese blu-ray special edition of battle of gods i got that in tokyo for eight dollars out of a junk bin i was really really stoked about that and then this is just all my Dragon Ball DVDs and Blu-rays. I do have a heap of the old... I've got every uh, original release, like the single three-episode packs. Uh, but they're all the way in storage. I don't really feel a need to display them. I've got these displayed. I don't really need any more. Uh, like the one fig pin I've got. Nice little key ring that my friend Steve uh, brought back from Tokyo for me. I love that key ring. A really nice little memento from him. We got a Ichiban Kuji phone holder from one of the lotteries here. And then I've just gone and filled up a heap of Gashapon and Chogokin stuff in here. Uh, mainly so it looks a bit nicer and I don't have to dust it anymore. Uh, this was all kind of jammed in here and then uh, where all this stuff's been. I've put the Kami House and the uh, World Tournament Stage uh, coin banks either side of the uh, arena here. And I think that looks really good. we got a couple little miniatures there. And then kind of the rest of the gash pond is just jammed into this one little uh, container. So that's really good. And then the last of the Dragon Ball guys is just uh, here. I do apologise for the dust up here. Uh, this doesn't see a dusting super often on this shelf, but that is uh, pretty much all the Dragon Ball stuff. Alright fellow collectors, I really hope you guys enjoyed this in-depth view of how the collection looks now. I am super, super happy with how all of it looks, uh, especially up the top there. It just, to me it feels like uh, the rest of the collection flows the Detolfs sort of have that same nice flow, the top has it now, and I just really dig it. I'm super, super happy with it. Uh, drop a comment down below, guys. Let me know 
what you think of it, uh, how you think it looks. Alright fellow collectors, thank you as always for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button right there. Don't forget, you can also follow me over on Facebook, at Gallet Gun Toys. Thank you as always for watching, guys, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.